Hi everyone, my name is Julie. This is Keep Calm with Books and Coffee. And today I'm going to be recapping my goals from 2021. Now, like most people, my goals are, uh, have gone a little bit sideways, I'll say. Um, I definitely stopped paying attention. I mean, I had them all written out here in my bullet journal and, um, things went sideways. I was in a slump for a good part of this year. I really had trouble reading and I'm just happy to have hit as many of these goals as I have. So I'm going to jump right into them. So my first big goal was to read 100 books and I did do that. Um, this year I would say I think I'm going to have a stats video out um, this month as well and I would think that my graphic novel uh, section piece of the pie is going to be even larger than normal because I know I read like 20 Lumber Jeans volumes and I read a lot of stuff to kind of kickstart my reading in the middle of the year and that was great but it definitely <laughs> took a hit on my next goal which is my page number goal but um, I did hit a hundred you know books or things that I read in 2021 but it definitely wasn't my strongest year in terms of novels and exploring um, new things so I definitely stuck with the familiar and with the graphic novels so it wasn't my best year but I still I still got there I got to 100 which halfway through the year I gave up on that goal and set it down to 50 on Goodreads and then I sort of found my stride here at the end of the year and kind of picked things back up again and kind of hit my goal which was really exciting but you know just also I was excited I read some longer books when I wasn't paying attention to numbers and stuff like that so I'm trying to balance those things in the coming year but for now I read 100 books my next goal was to read 40,000 pages. This is my goal every year until I hit it. <laughs> um, I did not hit it this year. I think I was around 25,000. Like I said, I usually, in a typical year, I usually get somewhere in the high 30s. Uh, so to be in the high 20s, you can really see the hit that those graphic novels took on my page count. But like I said, they were great when I read them. I wasn't upset that I took that time and read them. I really enjoyed the Lumberjanes series. I really enjoyed the Heartstopper series. Um, but it definitely did start to take a toll on my, uh, my pages. <laughs> uh, next up was to read 50 books that you already owned. So basically I wanted to read 50 books um, on my shelf that I already owned and unfortunately I only read 18 uh, so this definitely didn't go well uh, I think I normally read over half for this goal this year I like I said I read a ton of graphic novels which I got them all from the library I also read a ton of ebooks that I got from the library and audiobooks that I got from Scribd so I'm trying to refocus in the 2022 kind of on focusing on the books that I already own um, and also kind of mixing in those books from the library and stuff but I definitely want to uh, focus more on these these books I've purchased before in the coming year. Next up was to buy less than 50 books and to be honest I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, ha I tried to go back and kind of pick up where I left off. I think I stopped tracking this in June and I tried to go back and kind of pick up with uh, my different accounts where I purchase books as well as like uh, my hauls and everything and really I don't I just don't think it's accurate and I don't know if I hit this if I did well and did less than this or if I went over it I'm thinking I went over it just because of the way my year went and the way I discovered Pango and started buying used books on there but I really don't know for sure <laughs> so uh, this one is a bit of a unknown for this year I also wanted to listen to 24 audiobooks and I hit 17 this year, which I'm actually pretty happy with. Um, earlier this year, I was really struggling when, when my job changed and everything to find time to listen to audiobooks, but I have kind of finally found some times in my life, in my you know work-life balance that work for that. Last year, I really wasn't in the mood for audiobooks for the first half of the year, uh, or like April, May, and June were real slumpy months for me. So like once I got out of the beginning of the year, I really slumped hard and didn't hardly read anything. And uh, it felt like I was just trudging along and I feel like I didn't really touch audiobooks for a few months. But here at the end of the year, I really picked them up again. So I'm excited to try and dive back into that, that passion. Um, the other 
goal I had for this year or 2021 was to hit 1000 books read on Goodreads by the time I turned 30 and I did do that so I was really excited that was just like a silly, silly little goal that I had um because I was close and I thought at the beginning of the year I think I was uh within hitting like I think I was within 30 or something like that I was like I really want to do this I was pretty sure I was going to do it but I had to kind of just make sure I stayed on track because my birthday is in October and I knew I had slumped hard in 2020 so I didn't want to do that again but I did end up reading a thousand things by the time my, my birthday came around in October. Then I also wanted to read 10 series. I wanted to finish off 10 series and this is a hard goal because I caught up on some series. I like read new releases from series and then I also finished series but the finished series part comes out to five but I do want to count this goal as sort of accomplished because even if I didn't finish 10 series I did like catch up and keep up with 10 series over the course of the year. Uh, then moving on from my uh, specifically book goals, I wanted to watch 30 movies this year and I listened, I watched 38, which I was pretty proud of. I'm really bad at keeping up with uh, movies and TVs and I always set these goals to kind of keep myself going with them because otherwise I just get real bad FOMO because I'm uh, interested in watching a lot of things but I don't take the time to do it. Um, I wanted to watch 25 TV seasons and I only watched 17, which, okay, I did pretty good for overall. Five video games. Again, this is hard to gauge because I started five video games, but one of them was Animal Crossing, which never ends. And one of them was <laughs> Assassin's Creed Origins, which, uh, or Odyssey, Odyssey, I think. And that also feels like it's never going to end. So I, I played, I started five video games to play this year uh, when I was enjoying that. Um, I wanted to try to do one new recipe a month and I definitely didn't do this. Um, I'm trying next year to implement this in a way of keeping track of it, like making a list of all the recipes I try so that I know that I did do it or not for each month because uh, I do want to, I do want to try this and I want to keep learning. The next goal was to use things I own, which uh, I should learn by now that I'm not good at these open-ended goals. Like, I'm not going to know if I used the things I own. Um, I can tell you that I didn't read the 50 books that I wanted to already read, and I still have a bunch of video games that I haven't played that I own, but, uh, so I didn't try to, I tried specifically to stay away from these open-ended goals this year and to just kind of be more conscious of buying less things when I already have things to use. So uh, it's not necessarily a goal this year, but it is something I want to keep in mind going forward. Um, then this is sort of a repetitive one, but it was one movie or TV season a month. I'm pretty sure I did this um, considering I watched 17 and 38, but for some reason I needed to write that down as a separate goal. <laughs> Um, and then my last one was a reading chair project, which I actually scrapped in the middle of the year and kind of kept the setup of my room the way it is. Um, so that's not a goal, but it's, or it's not something that worked out, but it was something that I figured out wasn't going to work for me. So it was okay that it didn't work out. Um, but those were all the goals that I had for 2021. If you want to see my 2022 goals, I will have it linked up in the cards and down below if you're interested in checking that out. But um, I'm really hoping that uh, next year will be a little bit smoother. Normally I do check-ins on the, the goals in April and August. Um, this year I only did it in April. So I'm hoping to get back in my rhythm with goals check-in and kind of just in life in general, hopefully. Uh, we shall see how the pandemic lets us do that. But that is it for me today. Uh, if you want to share any of your goals I would, for 2022, I would love to hear them down below. But uh, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see me again, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye!